So Haley's back and uh, the girl's up and going. Um, there's she's not done. There's still a few things I want to do. Well, I gotta go through and run some more zip ties, like right here. I gotta zip tie those down still. And this belt, I want to put belt guards on it because the belt flops around. She's got an exhaust. I'll do a little start up for you. <laughs> taillights and then that one down there which my first video I messed up but that light that white one wasn't working the connection where the wires go into the box the metals rubbing on it I got to make a little rubber grommet or something for it and uh, electrical tape those wires up because they're getting messed up on the from riding on the metal where I drilled the hole hole um, I had to do something about this hood too, but all of my lights are ran on this back fuse back here. All my lights run on that fuse, and then this is my fuse for my starter push button. This is my exhaust, runs down. I ended up breaking it off the first time. I didn't have that mount there. I just had this one and I lost all motor, all my motor. I only have run three. Well, now I have four motor mounts in, but normally I just run three motor mounts because I don't like pushing in the clutch and getting the motor mount under the clutch. That's just annoying. But I did this time because all the, well, one of the holes on this engine are stripped out and I either have to put a nut and bolt or tap and dot, tap it. But it's whatever i don't really care um it's fine the way it is now doesn't seem to be coming loose but anyways the motor came loose and when i was riding it back up the motor was shaking so bad it ended up putting a hole in the exhaust not even my welds it was the hole um that's where it's spliced together why those welds look like shit there absolutely look like shit whatever and then I made the second, when I welded it back on, uh, I made this little exhaust bracket here. It's cut at an angle. I think it sounds pretty good. It has like an echo in the pipe itself. Probably because the pipe is so big and it's such a little motor, but it's about the same exhaust, uh, same as the pipe that was in there. Well, on it. So, yeah, that's kind of weird um, I think it sounds alright um, it's a little bit quieter which is nice before it was kind of just annoying now it somewhat sounds decent I gotta put this back on this is I also kind of want to make a permanent thing for my box here instead of using a ratchet strap I want to bolt the box down. Yeah, this ratchet strap about had had it too. Um, but yeah, I got these mud tires on it. They're actually my cousin's original mud tires, and then he put them on a Craftsman 1000. And then I got the Craftsman 1000, and they've been on the Craftsman 1000 till yesterday. I put them onto this because I had stocks on this and I was just gonna run stocks because I didn't really care. It's more of a road ride mower than anything, but the stocks, I ended up having to patch one of them. I got a chunk of metal in it from when I was building this thing. Um, and these ones are a lot less stiff. I can run way less air pressure in these, no problem, and have more, more wheel speed because these are taller than stocks. And it's a mud tire, so it's nice. It's just off, it's off a four wheeler, I'm assuming. And then these I got for free from a guy 
that we talked to one of the times on a road ride with that thing and he gave us these so i threw them on here with long with along an axle which i think the axle is in with my scrap pile well not scrap pile my pile scrap pile in there for metal working building building stuff like this my scrap pile is that but that's not that scrap pile but yeah um, the play in the steering is not that bad i mean it's got play but that's the play then it starts steering that's the only play right there as you can see i'm not faking it like that's the only play there is which in my opinion isn't bad I want to get a cap for this. Um, I don't know what the hell the steering wheel's off of. It came with this mower when I got it, and then it went on the silver bullet, and then it went back onto this. But I don't think it ever had a cap. Um, I gotta cut that down. That's for a ground. <laughs> and I want to get new seat springs because my fat ass bottoms these ones out. So I want to get new ones of those. But yeah, that's about it. So yeah, peace.